Hello. This is a summary of the last four videos. We have now established beyond reasonable doubt that the Information Commissioner has worked with the Steering Committee for Reciprocity for them to collect anyone's data in respect of name, address, license details, electoral roll re registrations and act as a data farm using exemption provided for in GDPR. We've also established the likes of Experian and Transglobal manage to or don't manage to keep their data up to rate or up to date or correct. They have no distinguishing ability between a correspondence address and a residential address or an industrial address or a care of address. They don't have that facility. We've also established that they sell off that data to anybody they wish to wish to without control of the people who are actually receiving that data. With this in mind, it has also been proven via the courts that in DCBL's case, that while claiming to know the correct procedure for the seven day letter, the judge does not believe they follow that procedure. We have also established, beyond reasonable doubt, it is illegal to open a letter addressed to someone else. So, either way, the seven day letter does not arrive at the property where the, the letter has not arrived where the thug arrives at. So, with no seven day letter, any action after that point in time has also been proven to be illegal. We have established failing to provide ID means he loses his rights and claims under anything he claims to be. We have established that if a bailiff, somebody who is not a bailiff, claims to be a bailiff, they are committing a crime of fraud, and ergo this follows that if a bailiff claims to be a High Court Enforcement Officer and he's only a County Court bailiff, he is also committing fraud. We then move on to the police and the Crown Prosecution, who deliberately, with malice aforethought, claim that a bailiff on arrival at a property considers it a civil offence, not a criminal offence. So a bailiff, or an alleged bailiff in this case, because we still haven't identified at this stage that the man is a bailiff and not just a thug dressed up as a police officer, We are in a situation where an unidentified thug claims to have a court writ, which he refuses to display, which is also contrary to legislation. So in summary of this overall thing, the Data Commissioner has aided and abetted the credit reference agencies to supply incorrect data to a company which fails to follow the legal requirements as set out by their warrants and their um, the procedures and a thug turns up ambushing a vulnerable disabled pensioner and, and then follows to terrorize him for 80 minutes and then the police say no crime committed because they don't know the law, they don't want to be involved, 
But in the meantime, they're investigating if our Prime Minister has had a birthday cake. For under 10 minutes. So 80 minutes of a terror for a disabled pensioner is decrimed and eating a birthday cake at home, in his, in his own home office, for 10 minutes is de deemed a crime. Sorry police, as with the Met Police, you really ought to get your act together. That's all I'm going to say this time. Next time we'll start identifying every single crime that this thug committed.